Welcome to the Headland Arena in New Bedford, Dartmouth Community Media. Proud to present Dartmouth High School Ice Hockey. Today it is senior night as the Dartmouth Indians take on Stoughton Brockton. Paul Santos along with you for the ride as Dartmouth High School recognizes the three seniors that are graduating today. Starting right there with number eight, James Sharrier. Some who followed our football team will also recall that James was a very important part of the Dartmouth Indian football team during the football season. And a great tradition here. They met up here, up in the balcony before the game, had a little party. And now they're down there taking the pictures with the green and white balloons. This is something that's been going on for many, many years. And we got a few fans out here today. A lot of the families and friends were able to come out here today and celebrate the three seniors. There is number eight, Mr. James J.T. Sharrier, one of the co-captains of this Dartmouth High School team. And a quick shout out to those watching live on YouTube. If you are a family member, you're down in Florida, you're across the country, or at some other location unable to be here at Headland, we thank you so much for being here today. As now, they have just announced the second senior, also a co-captain, Evan Moniz, who has played both forward and defense for this Dartmouth High School team. Dartmouth, by the way, comes in with a record of 8-6. and six. Head coach first year, Mark Rossi as they hope to make a playoff spot this year, and it's looking pretty good as there are a couple of games over 500. Assistant coaches this year, young guys, William Rocha and Kyle Charbonneau. So there is another senior right there, Mr. Evan Moniz. And then the third senior, Jacob Kearney, number 20. He's a senior defenseman, and he's being recognized. Getting the flowers, of course, from the coach, and taking pictures with the parents. I had the great pleasure of, of course, having both of my kids play for Dartmouth High School here, Dylan Santos and Andrew Santos, and my wife and I, Ann Santos, we well uh, enjoyed the senior festivities that they had up here at Edlin. It's a tradition that's been going on for a long time. Of course, Mike Capello, longtime two-decade head coach, who both of my kids played for, and now first year Mark Rossi, who was doing a very, very nice job taking over the program for Dartmouth High School. So can see they're taking pictures and really a small senior group this year, which is good for the future of the program. But these kids right here had to show leadership for the otherwise young Dartmouth team, and they certainly did. So they're getting a nice round of applause. James J.T. Sharrier, Evan Moniz, and Jacob Kearney, the three seniors this year for the Dartmouth High School hockey team. So it looks like they're starting the announcement of the starting lineups. The goaltender for Stoughton Brockton today is Dimitro Yakovenko. He's a junior for this Brockton team. Number two, Colby Strunk is a junior forward for Brockton. He was also being announced. And of course, we'll have the national anthem and then the drop of the puck. Here at Headland. If you're in the area, still time to stop on by and root on the Dartmouth Indians. Always a good take here. As Sean Farley, one of the co captains, number four, just got announced. Stoughton Brockton with a co op program. Number eight, Ryan Summers. He is a co captain, a junior defenseman for Stoughton Brockton. Charlie Caputo. The senior captain for Stoughton Brockton also being announced in number 15. And then the final member of this starting lineup. There he is right there. I believe that was number 14. And the rest of the Stoughton Brockton team. Now the starting lineup for Dartmouth High School, number 21, sophomore forward Aiden Cruz. Skating his way over to the blue line. James J.T. Sharrier, senior forward, co-captain in the starting lineup today for the Dartmouth High School Indians. Evan Moniz. Sometimes plays forward, sometimes plays defense. I believe mostly forward of recent, though. Will Gibson, sophomore defenseman. I'll tell you, I really like the way this kid has burst on the scene. He doesn't look like a sophomore. He's very 
tall, perhaps one of the tallest kids on the team. And Jay, Jacob Kearney, senior defenseman skating out there. And of course the goaltender, this gentleman right here has really put together a great season. Number 29, the junior, Ashton Machado. Done a really nice job stopping the puck for head coach Mark Rossi and the rest of the team this year. So at this time, the public address announcer is asking the fans to stand the playing of our national anthem. Headland, Dartmouth High School, and Stoughton Brockton getting ready to drop the puck here at Headland. Again, hello to those watching live on YouTube on Dartmouth Community Media. Paul Santos, happy to be with you. Announcing these games for a couple of decades and really, really enjoy bringing you the play-by-play -play action here of high school hockey. Andrew Santos unable to make it today, so we're riding solo, but that's okay. And we actually have our three-camera shoot back. For those who watched some of the earlier games or unable to get the truck close enough to Headland because of the work that they were doing outside with the pavement. Now we got the three camera shoot back and the replay. So we're looking forward to that. We really miss that. That's something that you kind of take for granted here at Dartmouth Community Media. But now that we have that back, we're very, very happy as we take a look at that Dartmouth bench. Head coach Mark Rossi, assistant coaches William Rocha and Kyle Charbonneau. Kyle Charbonneau scoring a memorable overtime goal a couple of years back here for Dartmouth. All kinds of great memories. All right, Aiden Cruz getting ready to take the draw against Sean Farley. And we'll be underway here from Helen Arena. Kudos to the parents out there. We were parents, so we know what it takes to, you know, participate as a hockey parent. Those early practices and stuff. Chance here for Stoughton Brockton. Puck skated away nicely there by Jacob Kearney. Definitely a commitment, but you meet a lot of families and friends that, hey, we're still friends with many of the parents of kids that played with our kids as Aiden Cruz crashes into the corner. Sean Farley trying to bring it out for Stoughton Brockton and the boxers moving it out through center ice. Wing-to-wing -wing pass is too far ahead. Collected here by Jacob Kearney. Can't move it out. Puck down behind the net. Played all the way around. Will Gibson. Will Gibson trying to get position on Sean Farley and Aiden Cruz. Cruz trying to bring it out through center ice. It slides down near the goaltender. The goaltender is Dimitro Yakovenko for Brockton and Ashton Machado between the pipes for the Indians. Puck slides down here on Dartmouth. Drew Spurlett on the near side. John Bichel backhands it out on a nice play. Stoughton Proctor can't clear the zone. Down near the goaltender, Yakovenko, as the Indians look to put some pressure on. Opening moments here from Hetland Arena. Dartmouth and Stoughton Brockton on Dartmouth Community Media. Paul Santos, happy to have you looking in today as Ryan Summers couldn't move it out. The Indians to the net. Shot goes right through the goal mouth as Yakovenko had to keep an eye on that one. Puck slides across. Owen DuPont trying to get it past Jacob Grieve. And now it's down here on the Dartmouth end is Charlie Camisa. And Drew Spillett collect. It's Camisa. Charlie Camisa putting on the Jets. Chips it through the neutral zone. Stopped there by Cooper Lehman. 
And now Aiden Cruz. Aiden Cruz to the net. Save that time by Yakovenko. First opportunity here for the Indians, and Yakovenko makes the stop. Brady Boparlin into the offensive end. To the net. Saved by Yakovenko. Oh, the Indians all over the net that time. There's another shot saved by Yakovenko. Three opportunities in the row for Dartmouth. And Dmitry Yakovenko, the junior. I don't know how he kept a couple of those out because there were some juicy rebounds for the Indians. Good pressure here for Dartmouth in the early going. Face off. Trying to move it out there is Ben Shirley. Right wing corner. Dartmouth looking to move it out near the net. Indians definitely putting the pressure on as Drew Sperlett is down there. Stopped. Banked out here by Cooper Lehman for the boxers. All the way down. And Drew Sperlett winds up behind his own net. He's a junior defenseman. Up through the neutral zone. Pass chipped away by Monaghan. Teams jockeying for position. Wing to wing it goes. Here comes Aiden Cruz. Cruz cuts to the middle. Cruz out in front. Yakovenko had to be alert on that one. As the Indians continue to put the pressure on, back comes Summers. Summers down the wing. Looking to get a shot on Machado, but the Indians' defense collects as Will Gibson made a nice play. Now a chance here for Stoughton. Shot deflected up and out of play. Well, not out of play by Jacob Kearney. Got his stick in there, and the shot never made it to Machado. Looked like Stoughton Brockton. Is going to get a really good look at the net. Carrero into the offensive end. Maddox Carrero for Dartmouth. Stopped here by Stoughton Brockton. Puck slides in there. An easy stop by Machado. Will Gibson for Dartmouth. Weaving his way through center ice, but can't penetrate. Stoughton Brockton back the other way, and they're content just sliding it in. The territorial play has been even, but Dartmouth has gotten the... Best looks at the net. Indians coming in as favorites today. Bicho looking to center it. Stopped here by Gibson. Four minutes played here at Headland. And the puck is iced by Dartmouth and a faceoff in the Dartmouth Indian end. As we said, kudos to uh, James J.T. Sharrier, Evan Moniz, and Jacob Kearney, the three seniors graduating today. It's like I see Tyler Martin down there helping out too on the bench along with Rocha, Billy Rocha, and, of course, the head coach, Mark Rossi. Ran into Billy Rocha yesterday. Was talking to him a little bit, enjoying coaching here with Rossi. Drew Sperlett into the offensive end, collected here by Will Curvino. That's center ice. They try to slide it down into the right wing corner. Going back to get it is Curvino. Curvino ridden off the puck there by Sharrier. Gary looking to move it out in front. Stoughton Brockton through the neutral zone. Pretty good stick handling here. Backhander goes wide of the net. That was a good chance there by Strunk. Another shot goes wide of the net. Sharrier. Sharrier gets bumped that time by DuPont. Puck knocked down here by Sprelat. Pass out to Sharrier. Sharrier weaving into the offensive end. End of the shift. Shot high and wide of Yakovenko. Now Stoughton Brockton. Oh, what a collision at the blue line. As Sharia just drops his man. Out in front, Yakovenko gets the pad down and makes another stop for Brockton. Now one thing we're going to miss about JT Sharia, not afraid to deliver a hit. And there's Yakovenko, the goaltender there for Dartmouth. Look at that collision. And then an opportunity there for Aiden Cruz as he brought it out in front, but... Yakovenko was equal to the task. Yeah, Sharrier likes to play the body. Must be, you know, playing football and stuff. Camisa into the offensive end. A chance here for Dartmouth. The puck goes wider than that. Jacob Grieve into the corner. Puck played around. Charlie Camisa in the corner up against Ben Shirley. Shot. Oh, it looks like Yakovenko got a glove on that one. Aiden Cruz couldn't keep it in the offensive end. Stoughton Brockton through the neutral zone. Camisa couldn't get a handle to it. Here's Gibson taken away. Gibson drops his man to the ice. As down went Anthony D'Souza. Now a chance for the Indian. Shot goes wide of the net. Jacob Grieve, right wing corner. 
Looking to move it out. Stopped over here by Drew Spurlett. Aiden Cruz, just a sophomore. Behind the net, Stoughton player went down, no penalty. Brockton through the neutral zone. Good defense there by Spillett. Here's Charlie Camisa. Trying to cut through the circle, couldn't do it. Now Gibson plays it across. Spurlett through a screen, tipped, blocked by Yakovenko. The Stoughton defense decides to flip it out, and it is wide of the net, so it's going to be icing against Stoughton Brockton. Looked like we're trying to get that shot on Machado to avoid the icing, but the puck was on edge, took a strange bounce, and the Dartmouth Indians get the offensive zone faceoff. It almost feels like the Indians' offense is going to explode here because they're getting some great looks at the net, and Stoughton Brockton hardly any on Machado. Faceoff. Played around to the far side, Lewis. Up ahead, here comes Lehman. Slides it in as Gibson drops his man at the blue line. Drew Sprillette up on the wing. Brady Bolparlin out there now for Dartmouth. Will Gibson, the sophomore, comes around. Gets bumped that time by Jake McSweeney. And here comes Gibson trying to find some room in that blue line area. Gets hit that time by Summers. And Brockton moving it around the far side. Looks like Stoughton Brockton has settled it down a little bit. They've made some defensive mistakes, but they've got to play defensively here against Dartmouth to try to give the Indians a run for it. Here is Gibson moving it up ahead. Brady Bo Parland trying to cut to the net. Bo Parland behind the net. Out in front. Score! Maddox Carrero getting that centering pass. Let's take a look at it again. Look at ball piling out in front and blasting that baby in. Maddox Carrero. Great setup that time. So it's 7.21 to go in the first period. It's a Carrero from Bo Parlin and a 1-0 lead. Great play behind the net to set up the centering pass. And Yakovenko had no prayer on that one. I don't think any goalie could have stopped that. So as we said, it felt like the Indians were about to explode. As the puck is banked behind the net, the Indians come in with a record of 8-6. and six. Moniz fires it wide. The playoffs just around the corner. There's a blast by Gibson and a save by Yakovenko. Gibson just decided to wind up and blast it. And you can hear the sound of the, of the pad. As Aiden Cruz was battling for the rebound, there's Yakovenko. I don't think Yakovenko liked that too much. Look at this blast by Gibson. Bam! But Yakovenko got that pad down. That puck almost slid under. Sometimes you keep the puck along the ice. Your tendency is to lift it, but if you keep it along the ice, it goes all the way down. It looks like there's a penalty against the Indians after that. I believe it was roughing after the play was over, so an opportunity here for... Stoughton Brockton to get one. And here's the faceoff. Gibson couldn't clear it out. Kept in here by Stoughton Brockton. Wrist shot through wide of the net. Played around to the other side. Kept in here by McSweeney. And out to center ice it goes. Summers has to go back to get it. Good penetration here by Dartmouth to keep that puck down on the offensive end. Charlie Camisa doing a great job on the penalty kill right there. Now Brockton into the offensive end, trying to get set up here. Overskated it for a moment. Played down here by Caputo. Stopped at the point. Great shot through. Saved by Machado. Saw it all the way. Strunk, right wing corner. Gets drilled by Gibson. Strunk keeps it in. Looking to move it out to that point. Screenshot deflected wide. It was a good idea taking the shot through a screen because I'm looking at the same angle as Machado. He's trying to follow that puck through. Farley, back to the point. They're trying to weave their way closer. Backhand or across. Loose puck. Machado covers the low area. Score! I believe it was Jake McSweeney that banged that in, but let's take a look. 
Number four for Stoughton Brockton, Sean Farley, the senior co-captain, a power play goal. And with 5.44 to go here in the first period, it is one to one. Well, Machado, he was doing a great job covering the bottom of the net, but then all of a sudden, I mean, the player was probably six feet in front of the net, and he just fired it right underneath Machado, and it's a 1-1 game. So that's exactly what the boxers needed because the Indians have been carrying the play, so that, that penalty against Dartmouth was costly. I'm sure Mark Rossi will be talking about that. That play was over, and the Indians were roughing in front of the net. And Stoughton Brockton ended up with a power play goal. So Machado looking to leave it behind his net. Aiden Cruz, a sophomore, on the move for Dartmouth. 5-12 to go in the period. Cruz trying to work his way through the defense. Cruz bouncing it back. Here's Gibson. Gibson through a screen. Blocked in front. Bouncing puck. Hops wide that time of Yakovenko. Stoughton Brockton. Stopped here by Gibson. They tried to work it past Gibson. DuPont couldn't get it past Gibson. Penalty coming up against Stoughton Brockton. Delayed call. Cruz trying to wind up to get an opportunity with the man advantage here. It was touched by Brockton, but they still didn't stop the play. The Brockton player was looking at the official. So the Indians will take advantage of this. Here comes Gibson. And finally, it's collected by Brockton. So Dartmouth will be going on a power play. Let's see if the official gives the signal. Sometimes they go over to the penalty box and they tell the official and they don't give the signal, but they do, and it's hooking. Hooking against number five, Ben Shuri. Great opportunity here. I spoke many times to uh, the coach about the power play. The Indians have good special teams. Wrist shot through by Kamiza, stopped by Yakovenko. Kamiza down to the right circle. Aiden Cruz couldn't get it. And Brockton, Stoughton, they clear it out. So this is not a good play there by Brockton Stoughton to take a penalty because they had just got the power play goal to tie the game. And you're putting a very potent Dartmouth power play out there on the ice. Aiden Cruz. Broken up. Short-handed opportunity here by Sager. Sager slides it down. Tries to hack away at the rebound. Garrett Sager, a freshman forward, charging in that time on Ashton Machado, the junior goaltender. As you can see on the screen, 122 on the power play, 340 to go in the first period. Paul Santos, happy to be with you today from Headland. Live on YouTube. Stoughton Brockton killing a lot of time here as the Indians have not really been able to set up on the power play. Evan Moniz. Chance here for Stoughton Brockton. Short-handed. Strunk. Colby Strunk into the corner. Content to kill time. He's got a man in front of the net. This is Sean Farley. Finally, the Indians get control as that was Maddox Carrero playing it around. Through the neutral zone. Stopped here by Stoughton Brockton. Not a good power play for the Indians so far. Farley into the offensive end. You can't even tell, really, that it's a Dartmouth power play, but still 40 seconds to go. Here comes Moniz. Up ahead, Maddox Carrero. Banks it ahead. Stoughton Brockton. Can't collect Brady Bo Parlin. Battle here in the neutral zone area. Moniz. Up ahead, Maddox Carrero. Yeah, Moniz. Manages to get it into the offensive end. Ryan Summers takes the hit. Stopped here by Drew Sperlett. Ten seconds left on the power play. That goes behind the net. And Stoughton Brockton slides it down. Good kill here. Very impressive kill by Stoughton Brockton on the Dartmouth power play. Sperlett through the neutral zone. Herrero makes a move. Goes down deep behind the net. Puck near Yakovenko. Loose puck. Strunk tries to skate it out. Plays it around on the wing. Through center ice. Ah, oh, a big hit there by number four Farley on Jacob Grieve. And 
And you see Jacob Grieve going to the bench. Play ruled offside. The faceoff will be outside the Brockton blue line. Drew Sperlett slides it down. Under two minutes to play in the first period. Live. Dartmouth Community Media from Hedlund. Gibson couldn't keep it in. Chance here for Brockton. Had a man going to the net. Couldn't get it to him. Good defense that time by Drew Spillett, who backed up and broke away the centering pass. Spillett has it now in the neutral zone. Plays it down deep, Charlie Camisa. Camisa penetrating behind the enemy net. Stoughton Brockton, this is Strunk. Tell you, it started out Dartmouth all over the net, but Brockton Stoughton has definitely settled it down. At center ice. Intercepted. A chance here for Brockton. Shot goes wide of the net as Strunk stole it and went in alone. And Farley delivers a hit here on the wing. Physical play picking up here between Brockton and Dartmouth. That goes behind the net. Summers. 45 seconds left in a very exciting first period. Tell you Machado coming out to challenge the shooter. But the shot went wide of the net. Sloppy defense there in front of Machado. Drew Sperlet behind the net. Camisa charging into the offensive end. Couldn't get the puck past the defense. And here's Aiden Cruz. Aiden Cruz gets tripped at center ice. Penalty coming up against Stoughton Brockton with 20 seconds left here in the first period. Not a good play for Stoughton Brockton to trip up Aiden Cruz. And the Indians go back on the power play. There's the goaltender, Ashton Machado. I'm a big fan of this young man, a junior goaltender. Done a great job for Dartmouth. Came on the scene last year as a sophomore. Was outstanding. Especially that second game against Bishop Stang when Dartmouth blew them out of the arena. Face off. And the defensive end for Brockton. There's a backhand. It's score! Charlie Camisa on the power play. 2-1 Dartmouth. Well, that didn't take long. They won the face I mean, Look at that centering pass. And the backhander by Camisa. Top shelf. With only 11 seconds left in the period. 11.1. Well, there's been some good passes in this game. So a power play goal for Dartmouth and a 2-1 lead. That's going to do it for the first period. It's senior day here at Headland. Dartmouth High School with a solid first period. The goal so far in the game. Mattis Carrero getting the uh, first goal for Dartmouth to make it 1-0. Then on the power play, Sean Farley tied it up for Stoughton Brockton. And then on the power play, Charlie Camisa with that nasty backhander upstairs to make it 2-1 Dartmouth. We'll be back with the exciting second period from Hedlund live on YouTube and on DCTV Channel 9 in just a moment. Stand by.
Just about set for the opening faceoff in period number two from Hedlund Arena. Paul Santos along with you today live on YouTube on Dartmouth Community Media. DC TV from Hedlund. Dartmouth taking on Stoughton Brockton. Very exciting first period. That is Carrero getting the first goal for Dartmouth to make it 1-0. Then a couple of power play goals. One for Stoughton Brockton by Sean Farley to make it 1-1. And Charlie Camisa answering back with Dartmouth's power play goal to make it 2-1. But I have to tell you, looking at this game, Dartmouth has carried the play. And they are the favorite in the game. So even though it's 2-1 right now, I fully expect the Indians to kind of take it to the next level at some point. But we'll see what happens. Stoughton Brockton has been staying in the game as Sharrier comes right down in front of us here. Sharrier back to the point. Pass across goes out to center. Rice and Gibson has to collect. But it's taken away by Colby Strunk, the junior forward for Stoughton Brockton. Nice crowd on hand here at Headland for Senior Day, which is always enjoyable. All set up for a post-game party up here on the balcony as Sharia goes behind the net. JT Sharia. Oh, he gets drilled that time by Farley. Puck now in the corner over here. Camisa tries to deliver a hit. And it comes Strunk. Through the neutral zone. Here he comes. Goes down in the corner. Wrist shot. Wide of the net. Goes right through the goal mouth in front of Machado. Puck played to the right wing corner. Dartmouth collects. Jacob Kearney, one of the seniors, honored before the game. J.T. Sharrier, another. Couldn't clear the zone. Ah, nice hit there by Moniz at the blue line. As down went Corvino. J.T. Sharrier. Fighting to keep it in the offensive end or defensive end, trying to control it. Big hit that time by Sean Farley behind the net. Wrist shot through, high and wide of the net. Oh, he was trying to go upstairs. Another wrist shot through. Blocked in front that time by the Dartmouth defense. That's Jacob Kearney, and Kearney moves it out. Stoughton Brockton, looks like they like to play physical over here, which is fine. Dartmouth can do that too. Will Carvino couldn't move it out. Ryan Summers up in the wing. Stopped here by Dartmouth. Played down by John Bishow, a junior. Puck chipped out to center ice. Goes all the way down to Dartmouth there. No icing. Here's Will Gibson. That's the sophomore. Sizable young man for Dartmouth. He's going to be anchoring that defense for a while. As he's only a sophomore. Puck slid in. It looked like it was before the red line. And it's going to be icing against Dartmouth with 12.51 to go here in period number two. Great to see the senior day honoring James J.T. Sharrier, Evan Moniz, and Jacob Kearney, the three seniors. Take a look at Mark Rossi uh, thinking as the puck goes down there on Machado. Probably thinking, well, we only have three seniors graduating, a young team, so we should have a strong team next year. But you hate to see the seniors go, that's for sure. Face off to the right of Machado. Shadow down on one knee. They're looking to get it out in front. Couldn't do it. And a breakout here, possibly by Dartmouth. A breakaway. Save that time by Yakovenko. And he covers up on the breakout by Jacob Grieve. The sophomore forward by Yakovenko makes the stop as Yakovenko had to close up the five hole at the last second. Look at the steal here by Jacob Grieve moving in. He's thinking five hole. And look at that. Yakovenko almost lost it between the wickets there. Had to look behind him. Great bid there by Grieve. Jacob Grieve is only a sophomore forward, but you can tell he's going to be an outstanding player when he's an upperclassman. There's a shot wide of Yakovenko off the stick of junior Drew Sperlett. A lot of underclassmen out there for Dartmouth. Only three seniors. Here's Aiden Cruz, a sophomore, behind the net. Plays it out in front. There's a chance from the circle. The shot goes wide of the net off the stick of Will Ganji. Cruz couldn't make it to the middle. Stoughton Brockton back the other way. McSweeney. Wrist shot through. Saved that time by Machado and off of his glove. It's kind of laying there in the slot area. Jacob McSweeney couldn't move it out. Here's Cruz. Cruz through the neutral zone. Wing to wing it goes. Maddox Carrero, he's got a goal tonight. Out in front. Oh, a redirect that time by Cruz. And he couldn't get it by Yakovenko. Puck iced by Stoughton Brockton. 
And a faceoff will be coming up here in the Stoughton Brockton end. Very exciting action here between Dartmouth and Stoughton Brockton, the boxers. Dartmouth at eight and six. As we get a look at that Dartmouth bench, first year head coach, Mark Rossi. Stopped by a downtown New Bedford establishment yesterday, hoping I'd catch up with Mark Rossi. Shot through, tip, saved by Agavenko. Did run into Will <laughs> Billy Rocha, though, so that was good. Since this is public television, I will not name the establishment, but you could probably figure it out. Machado stops it behind the net. When he's on the back check. Puck down in the Indians end a little bit more than the first period, I think. Brockton continuing to play physical. Collected here by the Indians. A wrist shot through. Bouncing puck in front. Moniz couldn't get the shot off as he was ridden off by Zach D'Souza. Oh, Moniz was turning and looking to fire at the point. Wrist shot through. Tip. Great save by Yakovenko. Another stop by Yakovenko as Charrier. And also John Bichel getting shots on net. The original shot coming through from Jacob Kearney from the point. Oh, I thought for sure that was going in the back of the net. The shot by Kearney from the point. Look at that tip by Sherry. And then watch what happens here. See a little sneaky backhander that time by John Bichel. Good play by Bichel. Get that second shot on net. Spurlett has to go back to get it. Penetrating that time was Caputo. I think Stoughton Brockton is playing a little bit better, although the Indians had the better bid there, of course. Now it's Cruz making his way down the wing. Cruz out in front. Intercepted. Skated away by Ryan Summers, and he has it now. Ryan Summers, long pass, looking for Colby Strunk. To the circle it goes. Shots saved by Machado as they got a quick shot from the right wing. Indians, collision. Puck banked out. Kept in here by Dartmouth. Aiden Cruz, the sophomore, comes from behind the net. Indians slide it across. Wrist shot through by Kearney. Saved by Yakovenko. And it's cleared out. It's going to be icing against Stoughton Brockton. Tell you, Jacob Kearney is getting some good shots, the senior defenseman, from the point down on Yakovenko. And the Indians, you see them there. They're in front of the net, creating havoc, trying to get a tip, which is what Mark Rossi likes to see. Got a few assistant coaches kicking around over there, Willie Rocher and Kyle Charbonneau. Maddox Carrero, a sophomore, plays it down deep. Buck played around the Lewis. Lewis slides it down. Going to be icing against Stoughton Brockton. Unfortunate that we don't have a staying game this year. I mean, I don't know what happened there. I know Dartmouth invited staying, and staying said no thanks. I mean, the last time they played, Dartmouth blew them out of the arena. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But the rivalry goes back and forth. Most of the time, the, uh, the games are close. One team can be playing a little bit better than the other, and most of the time they were good games. But that last one, the Indians just put the pedal to the metal. And it was no contest. Hopefully it'll be back next year. Centering pass. Back to the point. Shot. Down to the circle. And it's cleared out. No icing. Machado flips it back. Stopped here at the circle. Buck slid down behind the net. Bichot. Gibson keeping it down deep. Yeah, one of the most exciting games of the year. Dartmouth staying, especially when they played twice. And in this place, a 1,000 people in the arena. And memories to last a lifetime if you're one of the players. The players want to play. Even, you know, I remember years where staying was much stronger than Dartmouth. Dartmouth had some teams that were stronger than staying. You play the game anyway. Got through, tipped wide of the net. Who's pucking the slot? Saved by Yakovenko. It's on the line. It's a goal. The official right there to make the call. And Dartmouth takes a 3-1 lead. I'm looking right down at it from the balcony. And you're going to see the puck go over the line. Is it Carrero? 
I'd like to take one more look at that again because I think it was number 23. I might have chipped it in. Let's see. Well, maybe number 22 got the backhander off. Well, either way, Timer takes the lead. Upon further review, Brady Bull Parland. Looks like Brady Bull Parland got the goal. Now another chance for Dartmouth. And the puck goes out to center ice. Three to one, Dartmouth. Goal coming with approximately 8-10 to go in period number two. And that's the total havoc down there in front of Yakovenko. And a puck was placed in the back of the net. 3-1 Indians. Play is offside as Moniz was breaking down the wing. You kind of get the feeling from watching this game that even though it was, you know, 1-1, 2-1, territorial play kind of back and forth, the chances that the Indians were getting were just golden. Golden. And so as we look there at Kearney, one of the seniors, just felt that the floodgates were about to open. So let's see if the floodgates continue to open or if Stoughton Brockton has something in the tank. Camisa. Cross it goes. Picked off by the boxers. And out to center ice. Right back into the offensive end played by Jacob Kearney. Just about halfway through the hockey game. Glad to have you looking in here. On senior day. Nice crowd here on hand. From the point. Wrist shot through. Glove saved by Yakovenko. And Yakovenko hangs on with 7.05 to go. Here in period number two. Yeah, Starmouth has Diamond Voke after this. If you're watching this live on Monday, and then got a school vacation coming up shortly. And then the postseason. Camisa just drilled Summers to the boards right there. Here is Monahan. Behind the net. Monahan looking to get a shot off. Does, and a save by Machado. Monaghan kind of snuck down the wing there. And then when the puck came out, he got a sneaky shot there on Machado, but Machado was able to make the stop. Paul Santos, happy to have you looking in here. Dartmouth Community Media, DC TV. Face off to the right of Machado. Will Gibson moves it up. Puck chipped into the center ice area. Cruz to the net. Cruz tries to get the backhander off, and he's ridden off by Ben Shuri on a nice defensive play. Strunk. Cruz center ice. Strunk shot blocked that time by Gibson. It's center ice. Cruz bumps his man and takes the puck away from Farley. Play offside at the line, I believe, as Maddox Carrero was there. Mattis Carrero, number 23. Brady Bopardo, number 22. I think either in this game, maybe in this game. And in the last game, my son Andrew was saying that I mixed them up a few times. Well, they are about the same size. They're both highly skilled. And when you see them quickly, the 22 and the 23 look so much alike. So I'm going to try to be a little more careful there. As Owen DuPont gets drilled that time. Yes, Brady Bopardo. Ah, I got that one. There's a wrist shot through. Blocked in front. Loose puck. Stoughton Brockton looking to collect some garbage out there in front. And now the Indians back the other way. Ah, oh, looking for that wing-to-wing -wing pass. Picked off here by Summers. Gibson goes behind the net. It's been a good hockey game. I mean, it's been fairly physical. A couple of penalties, but pretty clean. But for a couple of mistakes. That puck was iced. I don't know why, but the goaltender played it. So no icing. Have a whistle behind the play, and it's a high stick. The violation, not the penalty. Well, maybe it is the penalty. Ryan Summers is getting called two minutes for high sticking. It's going to put the Dartmouth Indians on the power play. Big mistake here by Stoughton Brockton. You're trailing three to one. You're hanging in there. You're relying on Yakovenko. You've dodged the bullet a few times, and now you put the potent Dartmouth power play out there, and they already have a power play goal tonight. This could create an insurmountable lead. Will Gibson sets up. 
Aiden Cruz. Here he comes. Goes into the corner. Cruz. Wrist shot. Blocked up and out of play by number 13, Zachary D'Souza, the junior defenseman. And a faceoff will be coming up. I think the Indians need to set up a little bit here in the offensive end. You can wheel and deal and come around, but feels to me, just as an observer, maybe try to set up, get some tic-toe passing going over here. As Aiden Cruz, the sophomore, getting ready to take the faceoff, I think they're having a quick conversation with Yakovenko. I'm not sure why. Maybe some equipment issue. It's like part of his mask is hanging down. And the official wants to make sure that there is no issue with the helmet. So that's being addressed. I have to be impressed with Dimitro Yakovenko. He's seen some rubber tonight. And he's made some nice stops. And Machado has made some nice stops too when the opportunity has presented itself. But he hasn't seen as many shots. Well, Yakovenko is ready to go. Here's the faceoff. And Stoughton Brockton gets it. Puck is ice by Ben Sheary. Minute and a half to go in a power play. Indians hoping to set up in the offensive end. Gibson a little bit too far ahead. Brockton Stoughton bounces it out. Gibson has to go back to get it. The first power play the Indians scored. The second one never really did much. This one here is off to a shaky start. Almost halfway through, but still time. Here's Gibson. Down deep, trying to set up. All the way across it goes. Cruz, this is what you like to see. Bichot in the corner. Bichot gets bumped to the boards by Zachary D'Souza, and the puck is moved out. You have to credit Stoughton Brockton there because they're not going to go into the tight box. They have the aggressive penalty kill. So if you set up, you got to be mindful of the puck possession. Here's Cruz. Cruz, back to the point. Gibson. Camisa, wrist shot, saved that time by Yakovenko. Tall gentleman gets that right pad down to the ice. Chariot knocked down, 20 seconds left. A breakout here by Lehman. Stopped by Camisa. 14 seconds left on the Dartmouth power play. Bichot lays it back to the point, but it goes out of the zone. Gibson has to go back to get it. Penalty is over. You have to credit Stoughton Brockton. A big kill. Well, almost a trip there, but they're not going to call that one again. Now well, the official is going to the penalty box. He's just going to close the door, which was left open. Almost could have called a trip there when Cruz went down, but the officials don't want to be deciding the game by calling repeated penalties, but that almost could have been one there. Big kill there by Stoughton Brockton. The Indians started off the season with a very potent power play. I remember Coach Rossi talking about that, but those last couple of power plays were uneven at best. And credit Stoughton Brockton. They just weren't going to sit back in the, in the box. They were going to be aggressive. So back to five on five. Here we go. There's a chance here by Jacob Grieve. Jacob Grieve. Checked by Will Curvino. Ryan Summers. Couldn't get it by Aiden Cruz. Cruz to the front of the net. Kearney was hoping to get the shot off. All the way across. Picked off by Brockton. Here comes Strunk. Long pass ahead. There's a chance for Caputo. Ah, it's too far ahead as out of the net comes Machado. Wing to wing. Chance here for the Indians to the net. Score! Maddox Carrero, highlight reel. 4-1 Dartmouth. Look at that move as he just tucks it under the pad of Yakovenko. And if we can wheel that back, that was great a great pass by Dartmouth, maybe in the next stoppage of play. Long wing-to-wing -wing pass that sent Carrero on that breakaway. And 
I know it's hard to get back and credit everybody, but that was a tremendous pass. Maybe at the end of the period we could take a look at that as the Indians now lead 4-1. to one. Now Camisa. Shot goes wide of the net. Strunk has to go back and get it. I'll tell you, after the Indians came up short, on the power play, there's a centering pass, and it was a good defensive play by Brady Boparlin to break that up. Right after the Indians' kind of weak power play, they come up with a big five-on-five -five goal. Two minutes left in the second period. Puck out in the slot area. Will Carvino collects. Stopped here by Lewis. Now Strunk. Check that time by Sperlatt. Centering pass. Glove saved by Machado. And with 135 left, we have a faceoff. See if we can pick up the pass here to Maddox Carrero on that last goal. Couldn't see who sent that down there, but it might have been, I don't know, it might have been Gibson. I'm not sure. But it came from deep in the Dartmouth end. And so a great play there by the Dartmouth D to get that long pass to Carrero. Here's Maniz. Moves it up. Indians on the counterattack. Aiden Cruz once again. Likes to carry the puck into the offensive end, go behind the net and try to center the pass. Here's Summers down deep. Camisa plays it around. From the other point, kept in by Stoughton Brockton. One minute left in the second period. Dartmouth leading 4-1. Here's J.T. Sharrier. Backhander across. Puck loose on the slot. And he's took his man down. Down went to Souza. Puck goes wide of Machado. Puck loose on the slot. Saved by Machado. And Machado loses an edge in the slot with 34 seconds left. The puck slides away. The net is off the moorings. And Machado skates it off. Not a lot of action down there in front of Machado, but Machado has been solid when called upon. They get that net back on the moorings, but definitely don't want to see any collisions or any anything happen with Machado losing an edge. He's been so solid between the pipes. 34.8 seconds to go in the second period. Puck does come out of the offensive end. Ryan Summers unable to keep it in. So it is offside with 28.2 to go in the second period. The Indians only had a 2-1 lead going, going into the second period, but got two goals in a row. Zachary D'Souza. Sperlett. Drew Sperlett plays it around. 18 seconds left. The Indians in their own end. Long pass up ahead. Stopped here by Summers. Puck played down here by... Kearney tries to move it out. Four seconds left. Has a shot through wide of the net by Stoughton Brockton. And period number two comes to an end. Indians had a 2-1 lead after one on goals by Maddox Carrero and Charlie Camisa. Camisa was a power play goal. Sean Farley, the only Brockton goal in that first period. And then in the second period, all Dartmouth, Brady Bo Parlin picking up a loose puck in front of the net and getting it past Yakovenko, and then Maris Carrero, highlight real goal, getting that long pass and moving in on Yakovenko and tucking it through the five hole, a five on five goal to give Dartmouth a four to one lead. Well, stand by, it's senior day here at the Atlin. Happy to have you looking in here on Dartmouth Community Media live on YouTube and on DCTV. It's Paul Santos along with you for the ride. We've got the third period coming up next, right here from Headland Arena.
On we go to the third period here at Headland Arena in New Bedford. Paul Santos along with you on Dartmouth Community Media live on YouTube and DC TV. It is Senior Day. And you can see this guy right here enjoying the music. Oh, he's actually doing a little juggling act over here. I don't think I've seen that before. It looks like he's here from Salem. <laughs> well, that's a nice warm-up. UMass Dartmouth playing hockey after this. So that should be interesting. But in this game right here, speaking of interesting, Dartmouth leads 4-1. to one. You always like to win on senior day. Definitely been carrying the play. Two goals in the second period, two in the first. So here we go. And Stoughton come back and give the Indians a run for it, or is Dartmouth going to pull away and pour it on? Puck down here in front of us on the balcony. Muniz through center ice. Jacob Kearney, one of the three seniors graduating today, along with Evan Moniz and J.T. Jarrier. Like they're having their party up here in the balcony room after the game. Just chatting with J.T. Jarrier's mom over here and is reminiscing about, can't believe it's 10 years since Andrew, who usually does the games with me, graduated and celebrated senior day and 13 years from our other son. But, as I mentioned to her, and I'll say to the three seniors here, there's always going to be conversations with the players that you played with. I'm telling you right now, 10 years later, believe me, they still talk about some of the great moments when they get together, games they played with each other, against each other. So it's a great thing, just high school athletics, and you got to soak every minute out of it as you can. So the faceoff down there in the stoughton Brockton end. Stoughton Brockton moving it down here. It's Drew Sperlett, the junior, moving down into the defensive end for Dartmouth. Kept in here by Stoughton Brockton. Sperlett up in the wing. Indians in pretty good control of the game, but you certainly won't want to let them back into it. Centering pass. Charlie Camisa charges down into the offensive end. Camisa, wrist shot. Save that time by Yakovenko. Well, Camisa got a good shot on net considering he wasn't at the greatest angle. Loose puck in the slot. Stoughton Brockton back the other way. Puck slid down and went off the stick of Gibson, so no icing. Camisa. Trying to carry into the offensive end. Gibson. All the way around. Camisa. So the slot, backhander goes wide of the net, loose puck. Jacob Grieve got a backhander off. Stoughton Brockton. Backhander stopped by Machado. Pretty good rush by Garrett Sager. Off the bench comes Maddox Carrero. Carrera with a goal tonight for Dartmouth. Collision at center ice. Down went Strunk. Here's Aiden Cruz. Maddox Carrero. Trying to move into the blue line. Like sometimes the ice is sticky at the beginning of the period. Jacob Kearney all the way around. Behind the net. Aiden Cruz tries to stop it in the right wing corner. Here's Cruz. Cruz out in front. Down on one knee goes Yakovenko as he tries to cover the low area. There's a shot over the net. Oh, a centering pass and Maddox Carrero let it rip. I think it was Cruz centering and it went right over the crossbar. Point blank range. And the Indians almost scored there. Yakovenko had to go down and so I think Puck was really labeled to go over his shoulder and into the net, but it went over the crossbar. Face off to the left of Dimitro Yakovenko. Seen a lot of rubber today. Puck played down deep by Will Ganji. The boxers move it out. Center ice area. 
Will Gibson comes down to get it. All the way around. Slides down on Yakovenko. Stoughton Brockton hoping to move it out. Kept in. Sharrier with a shot wide of the net. Puck was kept in by Jacob Grieve as he put his skate in the sideways position to block that pass. Four minutes played here in the third period. Stoughton Brockton's going to make a game of it. They need, need to get one early. Centering pass. Bouncing puck. JT Sherry. Oh, he gets drilled into the boards by Sean Farley. That was a borderline boarding. But no call. That could have been ugly. No knees up in the wing. Sherrier through the neutral zone. Sherrier, a whole bunch of players go down to the ice on that collision with Will Curvino. Indians to the middle. Down to the net. Score! Dartmouth, what passing! And now a scrum in front of the net. Gibson is involved in it. Sherrier is involved in it. Grieve is trying to hold off one of his players, but the puck is in the net, and it's 5-1. to one. We Gotta see if we can pick up who put it in the net, whether it was Sharrier or who else was out there. Jacob Grieve, let's take a look from this other angle. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was seeing in the first place right there. Total blank. Well, let's see if we can pick it up. Nope, that was after. If we can wind that back, I want to see who put the puck in the net. See, it was a, there was a lot of action. Oh, oh right there. That is J.T. Sharrier who got drilled. They didn't like the fact <laughs> they didn't like the fact that Sharrier put the puck in the net, so they drilled him from behind. So J.T. Sharrier, one of the uh, seniors today, putting the puck in the net to make it five to one. I like being up here in the balcony, but one of the disadvantages of being up here, it is tough to see the other end. We used to have the broadcast location at center ice. I don't know. Maybe we'll go back to it at some point. But it's 5-1. to one. Dartmouth in complete control, and now we have a penalty coming up because of that scrum. And it's against Stoughton Brockton for roughing. That was when J.T. Sherry got drilled from behind. So now the Indians go on a power play. They'll be able to pour it on even more. Here comes Aiden Cruz. Cruz to the circle. Cruz with a shot. Saved by Yakovenko. Cruz still battling. There's a shot by Gibson. The shot goes wide of the net. The Indians seem to be fired up by the fact not only that a goal was scored, but the hit afterwards. Gibson out in front, deflected over the crossbar. Loose puck out in front. And it's cleared out there by Cooper Lehman. Well, the Indians in control, but it's still been entertaining to watch this game. Gibson into the offensive end. Down deep. Looking to move it out in front. Has a man in front of the net. That's Bo Parlin. Shot. Off the pipe. Wrist shot. Saved by Yakovenko. Oh, that shot hit the pipe. Hit the post with the shot. You can hear the ring all the way at the other end of the arena. We're all the way at the other end of the arena, and all we could hear was clink. Jacob Grieve, the sophomore, taking the faceoff. Stoughton Brockton fires it down. The icing is going to be waved off. Dartmouth still on a power play. 45 seconds left to go. Around the net we go. Colby Strunk. Brady Boparland. Out to the center ice area. Hacked right back in by Stoughton Brockton to kill off more of the penalty. Senior co-captain Evan Moniz. Up ahead. Looking for Boparland. Nope. That's Carrero. Back to the point. Moniz with a shot. Scar! Well, it's Evan Moniz getting the shot from the point. 
Looked like it may have changed direction on the way through. Let's see. Well, that's after the goal, but Evan Moniz, just go back a little more. It's okay. All right, so the shot from the point. There it is. Nope, and I think it hit something, but I don't think it hit any Indian, so we're going to give it to Evan Moniz. So the senior is getting on the board today. Evan Moniz makes a 6-1 to on a power play goal, so two power play goals for the Indians. I think a couple of their power plays were shaky, but they do have two power play goals. Oh, I hit from behind on Sharrier. Delivered that time by number 19. That was Brendan Tuwig. Gotta be careful that the game doesn't get... Oh, a big collision by Sharrier. Payback time on DuPont. Oh, Sharrier just lays him out. Well, you don't want to see that, but the thing is is that they didn't call a penalty against Stoughton Brockton when Sharia was boarded down here. And Sharia just went after DuPont, and you could hear the sound of the crashing against the boards up here. Watch Sharia. Oh, just delivers the hit. And you don't want to see Owen DuPont hurt at all. So hopefully Owen DuPont's okay, so you don't want to see that. But, you know, Sharia was facing the boards down here and got drilled from behind. So that really should have been called. So, anyway, it's like we got Sharia now. Sharia is coming out of the penalty box. I don't know if they're giving him a game misconduct or not. He's skating back to the bench. Usually that's what that means. Keeping an eye on Sherry and that Dartmouth bench. Going over there to serve the penalty. You can see number six. Actually not on the roster, but I believe that was a freshman going over there to serve the penalty. But, yeah, Sherry is on his way to the shower. Now, you don't want to see a hit like that. There's no question about it. I think JT got... Upset, he got hit in front of the net after he scored a goal from behind. Then he was down here on the boards, got hit from behind. And so he then took a run at number 10, Owen DuPont. So again, we don't want to see that, but it looks like Owen's okay, so we're happy to see that. I want to make that clear. But anyway, got a couple of people in the penalty box. I don't know if these penalties are kind of offsetting each other. Looks like it's four on four. It is going to be a five-minute penalty against J.T. Sherrier with 7.32 to go in the hockey game and a two-minute penalty against Zachary D'Souza. So two minutes, four on four, and then three minutes with a power play by Stoughton Brockton as a shot by Aiden Cruz is stopped by Yakovenko. So two minutes, five on five, and then three minutes after that, Stoughton Brockton will be on the power play. Great to have the three cameras. Look at this angle right here. Beautiful angle down there. We had to do a number of games with just a one camera shoot from the balcony with no replay. That was unfortunate because of the renovations going on outside of the arena. Aiden Cruz to the net. Oh, he couldn't get by that last player. That was Ryan Summers. Now behind the net. Ah, could have been a trip. Officials trying to bring this game to the finish line as Camisa knocks down Aiden Lewis. Physical play is picked up big time. I believe that was an icing. We'll see. Nope, we have a penalty coming up. Two minutes for called boarding. I don't know. I think I missed that one. So Aiden Cruz is in the penalty box. So now for the next minute 13, it's going to be four on three. Then it's going to go to five on four after that. And a time when I was being called on the ice. I believe it's Stoughton Brockton calling the timeout. So really from the Stoughton Brockton point of view, you know, he came into the third period at 4-1. And if it wasn't for giving up two goals, you could take advantage of this. But 
you know, they're not going to score five goals against Dartmouth on this power play. So you get a good look at the two benches to the left. Head coach Mark Rossi, very excited to take over this Dartmouth program. There's only been three head coaches in the history of Dartmouth High School. Bob Hayes, who I remember I actually covered him way back before DCTV even existed on the local cable. And then it was Mike Capello for a couple of decades, and now it's Mark Rossi. And Mark is hoping that he can continue the tradition of Dartmouth hockey. Very rare that you would have just a few coaches, and there is Stoughton Brockton head coach Dan Mark talking to his team. Trying to regroup the forces over there. And on the Dartmouth side, Mark Rossi, excuse me, Mark Rossi, <laughs> William Roser, and Kyle Carboneau. All right, so let's see what happens here. This could be some entertaining hockey. Wrist shot through, saved by Machado. Four run three power play. Bichot steals. Bichot has a breakaway. Bichot, score! John Bichot, short handed goal. Wow. Another highlight reel. Here comes Bichot. Makes his move and goes upstairs. Pass Yakovenko. How about that? A four on three disadvantage. And he comes down there and buries one. Wow. Adding insult to injury on that one. There's Stoughton Brockton. They took the timeout. They're trying to gather themselves, maybe try to get a power play goal and make this game respectable. And John Beecho says, I don't think so. Goes the length of the ice and puts one upstairs behind Yakovenko. That was exciting. Senior day. Senior day stuff. Well, you get that one in the scrapbook. Shot. Great save by Machado. Off the stick of Aiden Lewis. Well, Machado, he's made some nice saves here for the Indians, and that's nothing new. Stoughton Brockton in the center ice area. Race shot through. Deflected wide. Kept in now by Ryan Summers. Puck goes behind the net. Stoughton Brockton digging it out from the circle. Wrist shot high and wide. Good bid there by Charlie Caputo. Eight seconds left before Stoughton Brockton gets another man back. That's a shot. Blocker saved by Machado. That was labeled upstairs, so now it's five on three for the next 41 seconds. Soton Brockton really needs to set up. Wrist shot, wide of the net, all the way around from the left point. One-time shot, kick saved by Machado. Machado slides across with a right pad to make the stop. 21 seconds left on the two-man advantage. Wrist shot, high and wide. Good entertaining hockey here. Chip down here by Sean Farley. In the corner, Farley comes out with it. Farley, back to the point. Shot saved by Machado, rebound from the slot. Another stop by Machado. Machado robs him from the slot. Machado says no. Back the other way comes Brockton, now back to the one-man advantage as Brockton Dartmouth gets a man back. It's five on four for the next two minutes. Bouncing puck in the slot. Cleared out by Camisa. Now well, Machado hasn't got a lot of action, but right there, some good action. As Machado slams the door shut. Here's Cruz. Shorthanded bid. Wide of the net. Dartmouth with two power play goals and a shorthanded goal. Stoughton Brockton. Into the offensive end. Out in front. Saved by Machado. Puck loose in the slot. Cleared out by Cruz. They tried to tuck it five hole. But Machado closes up the five hole. Always tough for a goaltender when you're coming across because you've got to cover the side. So it's hard not to open up and leave that five hole vulnerable. But Machado closes it up. 340 to go in the game. This has been fun. I know it's a, a one-sided game, but the action, very entertaining here between Dartmouth and Brockton. One minute left on the power play. 
fired down that time by Owen DuPont. Looks like he's okay from that hit, which is good. Gibson puts Owen to the boards. All the way around. Sperlett tried to keep it out of the zone. Couldn't do it. There's a shot through. Wide of the net. Stoughton Brockton fighting to keep it in the offensive end, but it is out to the center ice area. Bichot tried to break out. Brady Bo Parland in the center ice area. 22 seconds left on the power play. Here come the boxers to the net. A shadow slides across, gets a piece of it. As Garrett Sager was charging the net. Bouncing puck in the slot. Bichot delivers a hit. There's a shot through. Owen oh, DuPont with a backhander. Great save by Machado. As he robs Garrett Sager. Machado says no. Look at this. Machado makes the first save. Now there's another stop. And then the puck is cleared out. But then it comes down again. And the thing was is that centering pass. We'll get it in a few moments. Machado coming across with a glove save. So we can cue that one up during the next break. Machado down with the glove up. And it was highway robbery. Highlight reel stuff. That was Jacob Kearney, the senior. Stopped here. Kearney again. Two minutes left in the game. Yeah, if you can cue that up to the pass and the robbery on the glove by Machado, next stoppage in play or even at the end of the game. Machado has uh, seen a little bit more rubber here in the third period. Well, of course, he had the 4-on-3 uh, the power play, the 5-on-3 power play, the 5-on-4 power play. Puck in the center ice area. Indians chip it down. That's Kearney. Minute and a half left. Again, Tip out caps to the three seniors, James J.T. Sharrier, Evan Moniz, and Jacob Kearney. Nice careers here at Dartmouth High School. Enjoyed calling the games that they played in. But kept in here by Ben Harrington. Right wing corner of the Indians. Boxers bring it out through center. One minute left in the game. Behind the net, Harrington. Trying to move it out is Jacob Grieve. Tripped up his trunk. Here's Harrington. Moving it out through the neutral zone. Brendan Messier slides it down and there's going to be an icing. Now let's see if we can pick up the save here by Machado. Watch this. This is just tremendous. Puck comes across. Look at Machado. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Flashing some leather. I believe it was Garrett Sager that he robbed. So a nice stop there by Machado. That was fun. There's a shot through. Misses Machado on the short side. Machado, of course, is a junior, so he'll be back next year. Indians losing three important seniors, but only three, so... A lot of players coming back with experience. One year makes a big difference. Sophomores becoming juniors, juniors becoming seniors. Jacob Kearney puts that one up and out of play. 12 seconds left in the game. There we got some exciting goals. A couple of breakaway goals by Dartmouth. Some nasty saves there by Machado. Some physical play. Face off by Maddox Carrero. Final seven seconds ticking off here. Evan Moniz plays it behind his own net. And that's going to do it. The Dartmouth Indians on senior day. Come out with a nice victory as they defeat the Brockton Boxers by a score of 7-1. And, of course, Brockton is the Boxers. Stoughton, they're the Black Knights. So they're the lead, the lead team. So real, real cap, uh, real quick, excuse me, recap on the scoring. Mattis Carrero made it 1-0 Dartmouth. Then Sean Farley on the power play made it 1-1. One one. 
That was a Stoughton goal. Then Charlie Kamiser on the power play for Dartmouth made it 2-1. to one. Two goals in the second period, both by Dartmouth, both even strength, Brady Boparlin and Maddox Carrero. Then in the third period, all Dartmouth, J.T. Sharrier, followed by Evan Meniz on the power play, and John Bichot to make it 7-1. So again, congratulations to the three seniors, J.T. Sharrier, Evan Moniz, and Jacob Kearney. And a great game turned in by goaltender Ashton Machado. Well, a big thanks to our Cracker Jack DC TV crew, Dartmouth Media crew. Thank you very much for looking in today on Dartmouth Community Television and on Dartmouth Community Media on YouTube. For all of us here at Headland Arena, I'm Paul Santos. Thanks again for watching exciting Dartmouth High School hockey right here on Dartmouth Community Media. Have a great day.